In this tutorial, I will show you how to create labels in CorelDRAW X4. Our objective here is to create this label here. Uh, if you notice, the the labels, the label here is a combination of uh, effects like, for example, this one. We're going to use uh, interactive contour and this shape here the original shape was an ellipse and I used distort to make this kind of shape and we're also going to use some transparency over in the background of this one and you notice this, this one I'm going to use uh, the uh, the tools for like chamfer or fillet for this the shape here And now our objective here is to recreate this uh, label here. We can make this as a wine label. Okay, so I'm going to move this over to the left side. And we're going to start from scratch. So now let's analyze this uh, label here. So this one, I use uh, interactive contour to create these contour lines and this shape here I use uh, the distort feature okay. so let's start the the, uh, the tutorial now here so I'm going to make a rectangle okay. I will rectangle there and basically this one is actually also rectangle okay. it's like that and you notice it has a an arc right so if you go to your shape tool and move this one going to the right now you just created an arc so notice this one is smaller here so I am going to move that there and I think we're good now I have to center this ver vertically so I can select both okay so two objects selected and I type in C to align vertically okay so you notice this one moved okay. and uh, I'll just move shrink that a little bit okay so we're done now I'm going to notice this one here it has a you call that scallop in Corel Draw, you can create scallop by by using the scallop command. So, but before doing that, I want you to go to Window and go to Docker, Docker's, and then click on Fillet, Scallop, and Chamfer. So, if you click on that, this one obviously is scallop here. Okay, so. So I'm going to click on the rectangle here and I'll start with point one for my scallop. Click apply. That works but it's it's just a small radius so we're not that's not the right uh radius. So I'm going to hit undo. Okay, make sure to hit undo to go back to the original shape. Okay. Because once you scallop you can't already go back to the original shape unless you click on undo so i click on that and then i'll experiment with two so we're just doing trial and error here two not quite so undo or control z let's type in here 4.4 4. click apply yeah i think that 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 works so what i'll do now so we have the basic shape ready and notice this one it's one whole shape so I'm going to weld this too so I select both and here in the property bar you click on weld which is this icon here for weld there so we got a basic shape now we're ready to do the contour now if you look at the contour here okay one is 
bigger distance than the other one okay so what I'll do I click on this I go to my interactive contour which is this one and now I I'm going my my direction would be going out not inside so I choose this one outside and then I click on two two steps and the distance I'll make it smaller now my problem here is in the original this one is a bigger radius but now here I can't make it bigger radius for the for the second one because it's all equal distance so what I'll do I'm going to make the contour step only one okay and then what I'll do since it's one I'm going to break that apart so go to arrange break group contour group apart and then I'll choose the outer one and then I'm going to do a contour again this time still one step but a bigger radius there and then I'll go to arrange break contour group apart okay so that all of these contours are individual objects now hit F4 to zoom all okay now uh, there's a line over here and it's a different color so what I'll do I'm going to create a freehand line from here click okay so I'm just gonna show you where I got it. so I got I got the freehand okay so I click here just over there and if you want a straight line hold down control and shift okay hold and control and shift at the same time and you're going to get a straight line I click there okay and I zoom in here now I'm going to you see now there's a fill in here okay so I'm going to use the smart fill tool so click smart fill tool and pour here okay I can change that color later and then I also going to pour this side here okay so now those are two separate colors now so I'm just going to delete that line the first line that I did straight line here now what I'll do I'll just get a sample color here eyedropper so that I can put it over in this side so click on that sample here hold down shift and pour on that one and same this one click and then hold down shift and pour okay. I've got white here but this one I've got an interactive fill okay. so I choose this okay this contour hold down shift and click on the the, la the outer contour and I'm going to combine it or control L L okay so that when I combine it when I put a fill on it it's going to be hollow here okay see if I click here it's one piece yeah. now uh, what I'll do to make the tutorials faster what I'll do I'm just going to go to edit copy properties from I'm going to copy the fill so click on fill of this one here so click here and you notice it has an outline so I'm going to right mouse click on the X button here to remove the outline okay now let's concentrate on this one here on this this fill the fill or the effect here for the gradient uh, rays going up so create there's lots of ways how to do it but uh, let's try this 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 way here so I click on my rectangular tool so you hold on control that's perfect square now after that I want to rotate this 45 degrees so I click on that and then in here rotate 45 so type in 45 and then hit enter okay so it really because what I, my objective here is I'm going to make a triangle okay so I 
that's 45 degrees already and I go to my arrange tool and convert to curves okay since it's already a curve now I can delete this node here so I highlight that node and delete so now I have a triangle so what I'll do I'm going to move the triangle here and I'm going to stretch it there and I'll make that white for now okay. so so I've got a triangle here but I wanted to make it skinnier so what I'll do here if I do this it would distort the triangle control Z but if you hold down shift and select this node and bring it to the left I mean to the right it would resize it on both sides okay so I'm going back to my reference here I'm gonna make it more skinnier so hold on shift and there and I'm going to color that there remove the outline I'm going to going back to the original here I'm going to make a transparency so interactive transparency click here and drag going up there okay F4 okay now the only thing I have to do is I'm going to do duplicate this all going to fill up the, the background so be before doing that I click on my object here click one more time and in the center of rotation I'm going to move it down going to that point there okay so that when this will rotate it will just go like this 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 okay because the rotation was changed the center of rotation was changed I'm gonna undo that okay so I'm going to do a transformation here so click on this object and you go to arrange transformation and I'm going to rotate that so you choose rotate and in here I'm going to let's say five degrees angle okay, every five degrees and I click on apply to duplicate okay so it's not it's not really five degrees I think 10 let's try 10 10 degrees for the angle and I click on apply to duplicate let's see that that looks fine so I click on apply to duplicate until I complete the whole the whole turn okay that actually looks a good design looks like a good design but anyway to make it the same as this one here I'm just going to delete all of this objects here so I click on I'm gonna delete this first this and this one here and delete and then delete okay so now I already have that now this one here I was experimenting on the distort tool and I found out that it's it's good in to make this shape so what I did I click on ellipse tool I made an ellipse like that okay. I colored it white for now and then I hold down shift and select this one here and then type in C to make it center vertically so I click on the ellipse and I go to my distort tool if you go here and click on distort okay so make sure you're in this push and pull distort the first icon here and I just click and drag I go this way here going up and you notice the shape would look like that now you can really experiment on it say for example this one okay so these two lines I mean these two two squares here you can experiment 
on how it will look like okay okay but for now I'm gonna use this one okay I'm gonna move this one here move some more okay so I think that's fine so what I'll do, I'm just going to resize that. I'm going to close this docker here. And I'm going to resize it like that. Okay, now just move it up. Okay. So to make the to make the tutorial faster, what I'll do, I'll just copy this one, the fill of this. So I click on this uh, object, edit copy properties from I want to copy the fill click OK the arrow will show up and then I'll click on the edge of that okay I'm going to remove the outline click on that right mouse click on this no outline and then I'm just going to duplicate this control D or plus sign in your keyboard okay obviously I'll make it smaller and move to top arrange order to front of page now this one dummy text I'm just going to duplicate that plus sign your keyboard and I'm just gonna move it here and then arrange order to front of page okay Oh, so I, I noticed there's like a highlight here. Let's zoom in here. So there's a highlight, so that must be a, a contour. Okay, so let's do that in here. So I click on the object, which is this one here. Uh, go to my interactive contour. It goes down. Okay, so goes inside. So I'll make, make it smaller smaller distance and this effect it's because of this one here the fill color and the end fountain fill color of course if you change that this one would change okay so I'll just make that white to make it a highlight F4 and this one here actually I was playing around with the wingdings so in order to get these symbols here, I went to I went to text and then I went to insert uh, symbols and characters. If you click on that, and then in here in this Docker, you you choose wingdings, wingdings, and you got lots of objects here that you can choose. I think I chose uh, this one here. So what you do, you click and then you just drag it inside. Yeah. Okay, so insert character. And I'll just make that white. I'll resize that. Put it here. Resize some more. I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, so plus sign your keyboard to make a duplicate and then move it to the right and then mirror it. So mirror horizontally and there you go. Okay, so that's it.